there is a beautiful pizza in the oven. And I'm so very excited about that. Hello everyone and welcome to Wednesday. Um, I'm shooting this in the kitchen and I'm doing that for two reasons. For one, it's getting kind of sad to shoot the vlogs just like in bed. I don't love that. And um, number two, I, I, I don't want all the thumbnails to look identical. I'm like, I need some like variety here. So I'm, I'm doing this in the kitchen today. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what, how, like how things are going um, for me and Mao, and then also what my, what my new found problem is, which is becoming a problem, like a big problem very quickly in a way that I am not expecting. So first things first, uh, Mao's doing pretty good. Uh, she's upstairs in her office at the moment. Um, you know, she did test positive. I, a second time, I didn't, but I also never like regained, let's call them traditional symptoms a second time. Um, she, at this point, the biggest thing, cause she's had pretty mild symptoms the second time around. The biggest thing is she's just been tired. She hasn't been quite as tired as I have, but she's been, she's been trying to, you know, to just rest and I'm glad, I'm glad she's, you know, just using this as an opportunity to try and recover. Um, for me, uh, at this point, all my, all like the, again, the traditional symptoms, I don't have them. They're gone. Like I don't have cough. I don't have sore throat. I don't have, I don't think I have any congestion at this point either. Like I think for the most part, all of like the normal stuff, I'm done with it. I don't think I have it anymore. I feel relatively strongly that if I were to test, I'd probably test negative. Um, Mao is planning to test tomorrow, I think, because um, it will have been enough time. At that point, it would have been five days since she last tested positive. Um, I'll probably test alongside her. And then if we get negative tomorrow and negative Saturday, then we're good, you, you know, even if we don't feel good. So the, the thing, I talked about it yesterday in the vlog, but the, the thing that the current theory that I have now, based on what Haley told me, which honestly is making more and more sense, is that, yeah, I'm over it, but it can activate your vertigo. And once your vertigo is activated, like, oh no. So I said yesterday I made an ENT appointment and I did, and that was important. Um, and the vertigo continues to be a problem for me, which like sucks. I don't love that. It comes and goes. Um, it's generally always kind of there in a mild way, but like tolerable. And then at some point it'll be like, oh no. And then it, it can get pretty disorienting and, and somewhat nauseating. My new issue is I'm not sleeping very well. Um, I'm just not. Like I've had trouble sleeping to some extent ever since this began because the first week of this, I, I could only sleep like three or four hours at all. Um, and that made obviously things very difficult and hard. And then things kind of started to get better. I was in bed a lot and I was struggling. That, that's really been a recurring thing. It's like, I'm in bed a lot, but I'm not getting enough sleep. But um, in the last 24, 48, I don't know, the last just day or two, things are decreasing. Like the amount of sleep that I'm getting is decreasing, not increasing. So even though I've spent time in bed, it takes me forever to fall asleep. Like I'll go and get in, in bed and I'm tired. I have the intent to like, I will sleep now. I'm not sitting up in bed. I'm not on my phone. I'm not doing anything. I'm just laying there. And I'm not someone that generally has a hard time falling asleep, but I just don't fall asleep. So as an example, last night, because my circadian rhythms have been a little screwy. Last night I got in bed on time. I went to bed at midnight and I was like, yeah, here we go. I'm in bed on time. I am very tired. I'm gonna lay down and if, I hope I sleep till morning. But instead, <laughs> it took me two hours to fall asleep. So I didn't fall asleep till 2 a.m. And then I woke up at 5.30. And at 5.30 I was like, is this it? 
and I laid there for a little bit and I was like, oh, I'm awake. So I decided this morning to do something different. And this is the positive of today because today actually ended up being very good in a weird way. I got up and I just worked. I just got up and I was like, okay, if I can't sleep and my vertigo is going to let me, I'm going to work because that at least brings me joy and reduces some of the stress that I have of being behind. So I'm gonna do that. And I did. I worked from 5.30 this morning until like 3 p.m. Um, I stopped to eat some lunch, but otherwise I stayed pretty focused and I got a lot of stuff done, as you might imagine. And that was great. That felt great. And then at, uh, at 3 o'clock, I, you know, obviously I was, I was pretty tired and I went and I laid in bed and I was like, certainly I will fall asleep immediately. And again, same thing. It took like two hours to fall asleep. And when I fell asleep, uh, which was, I guess, around five, I slept until 7.30. So I got like two and a half hours and then I woke up. Despite the fact that I have not had anywhere near enough sleep and my body should be like, oh, we tired. We're going to just blah. Nope. Two and a half hours, woke up and I'm like, okay. So that's frustrating. So I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with not only vertigo, but also exhaustion. And that sucks a lot because that's not a good combination. And I'm just doing my best to like navigate this. And it's a, it's always like a question of what the next day will bring. Like I'm, I'm happy that I feel better, right? Like I feel, I'm not coughing. I don't have the sore throat. All that stuff was awful. As, as, as I, as I say that I can feel a little cough. <coughs> I mean, there's no, there's, there's no congestion, there's no mucus or anything at this point, though. Um, so, like, I'm, I'm grateful for all that. But, man, this other stuff sucks. And I really, at this point, I really do feel like I, I don't know that I'm sick anymore. I will probably test negative when I, when I test. But, like, I just feel like crap. I really feel like crap. I'm glad I made that ENT appointment. I got that coming up in early March which is good, um, but I, I just really need my body to get some sleep. I really do. I, uh, I haven't, I can't remember the last time I slept and like got like, a, oh, I slept throughout the night. I know I've done it. Was it the end of last week maybe? I don't know. That's the other thing is that this really hasn't been all that long, but like time is really, diluted in my mind in, in terms of like how long things have been. It's very weird. I'm sure some of this, like I know that like brain fog is, is a part of this. And like, I, it's very hard for me to discern what's brain fog and what's being dizzy combined with not having any sleep, which at that point is basically brain fog. Anyway, it's not all bad. I, I don't want, I don't want this to be so doom and gloom I'm not thrilled about what's going on right now with me. Uh, I'm not, I don't love that. But one of the things I never got, which I really dreaded when I found out I was sick, was losing my ability to taste. And I never lost that. Knock on wood, God. Um, I never lost that. And that helps so much because I love food. And that is a joy in my life. And I'm really grateful that I can at least taste things. So at least I have that. And shortly I'll have a delicious pizza to taste. And that's it. I don't know what tomorrow will bring. I really hope I get some sleep, but if I don't, if I only get minimal sleep and I'm up, I am, I'm at least going to get some stuff done. And here's the thing, I know some of you will be like, Steven, you can't just work, you have to rest. But I can't. But I can't. If I could, I would. I'm canceling streams. If you know me, you know like I don't do that. I don't do that. Like things are not right. Thing, I am unwell. Unwell enough to have the cognizant ability to be like, I can't, you know, do this stream or I have to change what the stream is. Like I know that, but <laughs> I'm gonna work because like why, you know, why not? So I'm, I'm still trying to sleep. I don't want anyone to think that I'm pushing my body too hard. I'm really not. You have to trust me on this. I'm really not. I am trying to sleep. 
But if my body doesn't like cooperate, it's difficult to know what to do. So, but the other thing is with how all this is gone, tomorrow I could be, it could be completely different. I'd be like, oh, I slept 10 hours. I don't know. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna end it there. Again, looking on the bright side, I can taste pizza. We'll see, we'll see what the, the rest of this week brings. We're halfway through. Maybe I'll be better by Sunday. I don't know. If, the thing is, at least if I get like double negative tests, then at least I can like see people, right? And I can hang out with people, even if I'm not feeling great, even if I'm tired and dizzy, at least I could hang out and that would lift my spirits. So maybe I'll do that. Thanks for watching. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?